there, first grade? How's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Renzi, math teacher from Wedgwood Elementary School. Today, I am here with Lego Minnie Mouse. Because you might remember, I am a huge fan of Lego. So Minnie will be watching us learn some math today. So let's get started as I shrink myself into the corner. Today, we are going to be doing grade one, lesson 1.2, and it's called Investigating the Number Line. That means we are going to pretend we're detectives and we're going to take a look at some number lines. So our warm up today is going to ask us to look at some number lines. Can you say that word with Mr. Enzi? Number line. Awesome job. Now, number lines have numbers on them, and it has an arrow at the beginning and an arrow at the end because a line just keeps going on and on and on, doesn't stop. And number lines can have different numbers on them. So this number line starts at 1, and it stops at 10. And this number line here has some more numbers on it. This number line starts at 1, and it goes all the way up to 20. Now you might notice that right on top of every number, there's a little mark. That's called a tick mark. Can you say that word? Tick mark. A tick mark is where each number belongs on the number line. So you can see here we have a tick mark for the number one, a tick mark for the number two, and a tick mark for the number three, a tick mark for the number four, and that's how number lines work. They have a tick mark, and then they have a number that names each tick mark. So this year in first grade math, we will be working with number lines a lot. So number lines can also be used to help us count. Let's count together from 0 to 20 on a number line. So here you can see my number line. It starts at 0, and it stops at 20. We're going to count all the numbers on our number line. You're going to notice that they go in order. They start out small, and then the number gets bigger as we move down the line. So let's go ahead and let's count together. Here we go. 0, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome job. Very good. Now, we can also count by tens on a number line. So when we skip count, we're skipping some numbers. So we're going to, let's skip count together by tens on a number line. So here you can see a different type of a number line. This number line starts at zero. It goes all the way to 100. But this number line counts by tens. So let's see if you remember how to count by tens. Let's start with zero and we'll count by tens all the way to 100. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome job. So we counted by ones. We counted by tens. 
we can also count by another number. Mathematicians can also count by fives. Now, when we skip count by fives, it's like counting on our hands. I want to show you what I mean. My hand has five fingers. So when I count by fives, I'm going like this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 30, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, 50. So counting by fives is like counting the fingers on our hands. Let's try to count by fives. So I have some hands on my screen and I have the numbers that are the fifth number on the hand. So we can count by fives by looking at the numbers here. Listen to how it would sound. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Wow, let's try to count by fives together. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Awesome job. All right, my fifth grade mathematicians, I want you to try and practice counting by fives and counting by tens because that will make you a mathematician. All right, you're going to have a little activity to complete in Seesaw because I want to hear you count by a number. So go ahead and work on that activity and Minnie Mouse and I will see you soon. Have a great day.